Hey everybody, this is not a screen tip. Remember how they were telling you about how great Obamacare is? Well, it's just coming to light that, okay, nobody, okay, let's say nobody, okay, none of the Democrats are signing up on Obamacare because they'd rather keep their own health care coverage. Now this, of course, includes Congress, which is the House and the Senate, and of course the Democrats at the state level. But you know, Obamacare is really good, and you should use it. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And Obamacare is so good that, well, the Republicans aren't doing it either. Well, yeah. But yeah, well, the Republicans never would take it. They're, they're using insurance programs, you know, like, North, like Blue Cross, Blue Shield, and things like that. The Democrats unanimously will not use them. And they're trying to defend it this morning. The uh, head of the IRS, well, the IRS is going to take that plan. The IRS unions aren't going to take the plan. Government employees are not going to take the plan. You know, Geico, G, Geico used to be, it's government employees insurance. Well, that's what it stands for? That makes sense. That's government employees insurance. They're not taking uh, Obamacare. You will not find a liberal Democrat in this country that will take Obamacare because it gives them less... Pre they Okay, we had the finest health care system in the world, and we still will because... The doctors are not going to, most of the doctors are not going to sign on to Obamacare. They're just going to go into private practice now. And if you can afford it, like in England, you will have the finest health care in the universe if you actually can pay the bills. What amounts to is Obamacare is only going to be for the illegal aliens that are going to be made citizens and the people that, that Afro-Americans. It's a, it was, they said, it's a government program for people that basically the Democrats want to keep on the hook and no one else. But didn't they have to have everybody sign up for Obamacare to make it work? The plan was never, I mean, okay, you know what Herbie Daddy says? Oh, Republicans are absolute morons. What do you mean by Herbie Daddy? Well, because Obama wants everybody on government on a single-payer program. He does, what, uh, and then, oh, Herbie Daddy says that, oh, and if there isn't enough money to pay for it, the <laughs> government has to pay for it? Oh, you mean it becomes a single-payer health program? I know, Republicans are stupid, aren't they? Mm-hmm. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, if you listen this morning, uh, I know less than Buchanan. Well, the Republicans can't de not defund it. If they defund it, they're, uh, Obama's going to shut the country down. And if he shuts the country down, the world country is going to blame the Republicans because they shut the country down. No, they didn't shut the country down. They just defunded a program, which they can do. Well, he said Congress of the United States has no right to shut the country down. And they're trying to explain to Mr. Buchanan they're not shutting the country down. They're not providing the funds for April, well, like with Carl Rowe. Remember, Buchanan is one of the hierarchies that basically thought John McCain and, the, and, and Romney were great. Now, the senior level of the Republican Party basically would not do anything that would make Obama look bad because if, yeah, okay, yeah, here's the way it is. If Obama would walk into the Republican National Committee and bend over and say, I think I need my butt kissed today. People would be trampled to death running to kiss his butt for him because they're terrified of this man. And focus shifts to Obama if Congress acts his immigration bill. Yeah, oh yeah, they expect that he's going to do it by executive order, grant the DREAM Act and all these other things, in which he has no congressional power, <laughs> he has no legal power to do it. Only <laughs> the Congress of the United States can act. But oh, hurry down, he said, but like you said, that they're. The, member, the senior level of the Republican Party, if the president says, I think I want to legalize, I think I want to turn the Western Party of the United States over to Mexico again. Oh, oh, it's a good idea, Mr. President. And they'd go along with him. And CIA agents being pressured to keep quiet about Benghazi? Yeah, they said they're, it looks like they're giving CIA agents brand new names, new identity, put them in, a, put them in safe houses all over the place. Because it seemed like there was like, 20 or 30 heavily armed CIA agents on the ground at the same time those people were being slaughtered and they did nothing because they were ordered to stand down and that's what the president is hiding. Oh. Totally and absolutely. He's hiding the fact that there was, a, there was a strike force available on the ground and they were not told, they were told they were not to go. Not a car or bicycle but a blend, an elf vehicle. I, it's, a, what, what? I, it's a motorbike, folks. It's like an automobile, but a motorbike, which has, um, it's Scandinavian thing. But the problem is you'd get ran over. Okay, it would probably work well in big cities, but you, why would you take it? And here's the problem. I heard the person said this morning, where do you park the thing? 
we well, have to park it in a garage because it might get stolen mm -hmm. on the street. Well, what if there are parking garages where then you can't drive it? Mm -hmm. So what good is it? If, might as well have a car. Yeah. At least a car you can park on the street, but an elf, you know, no way. And U.S. issues global travel warning. Yeah. Why? Well, uh oh, Herbie Daddy says, remember the President of the United States just said that Al-Qaeda is good done? Uh, they're so afraid of Al-Qaeda that they shut 22 embassies in Muslim countries. What? Because they think they're, okay, in the last month, over 2,500 Al-Qaeda prisoners, whoo, some of them that the President of the United States sent from Guantanamo have been, re uh, have been released from prisons all over the Middle East and they've been rearmed and they think Al-Qaeda is now at full power again. Mm -hmm. Oh, Herbie Daddy said, Herbie said that was going to happen. Mm -hmm. And FBI report, agency couldn't prevent the Boston bombings. Um, okay, Herbie Daddy says since they, knew the, since they had the information previously, how could they have not have known something was going to happen when the Russians told them these people couldn't be trusted and they were supposedly following them? What it means is, yes, we blew it, and a lot of people got hurt and killed because of what we did. And Venice Beach Boardwalk, um, hit and run driver arrested. Well, they, they said it had to do with something that a disgruntled actor, he said, I could have had my name in a Tiffany and, um, and, and Debbie Gibson cult movie, and I didn't have it. And he was so mad about it, he was driving through people saying, I blew my chance for mortal immortality in a cult movie. I oh, come on. <laughs> well, they said that he was an angry, an angry actor. Oh, was he really? Wouldn't that make you angry? Oh. We actually know people that basically did blow their opportunity to be listed in a cult movie. But now they're relisted. Yeah, now they're relisted. Yeah, but they yeah. blew it. They didn't think it was a big deal. Yeah, it's like Shark. Okay, there were there are people in Sharknado that are now having their names put on that thing, their real names put on oh, it. Oh, really? Yeah, and then I and Zephyr think, well, I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to go around with this beard now because we're making a sequel and maybe a television series, so. Are you serious for Sharknado? And Sharknado yeah. was, okay, this was one of those little movies that became big. It was all over Comic-Con. And then I saw something listed like they were having a midnight showing with the cast. They're, yeah, they're having midnight showings in 2,000 theaters across the United States live with the cast, you know, uh, they're basically talking about the movie, but Zettering said, uh, you know, I, 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 he said, I only put the beard on to look, look like I grew rough and scruffy, and now I'm making a sequel, and possibly they're talking about a television series, which means he darkened his blonde hair, and now he's got, can you imagine? He isn't Fleming. No, I am Zettering. Oh, from 90210? Yeah, he's a star oh my in God. Tornado, but people oh actually put phony names on it because it was, okay, we're going to put it, the third rerun of that thing has done more and has higher ratings than any of the first run movies ever done on a sci-fi channel. The I don't rerun. understand what's the big deal about that movie. It was a throwaway midnight, okay? They, it was so bad, they threw it away and put it on at 1 o'clock in the morning, which nobody was watching, and the stupid thing got the highest rating. But how? Uh, uh, people were, hey, did you see this really crappy movie that they got on? With oh, crappy? it's one of those movies that were so bad that everybody's watching it. It was so it's bad, bad, they were twitting people about how bad it was. And now it's, a, it's basically Sharknado is actually a Twitter sensation, and it's growing bigger. They're getting ready to run it a fourth time during Shark Week this week. <laughs> we have to watch it. It's, it's only been, we're talking... Was it the 18th or something of the month? Oh, this is the 1st of August. Three weeks ago, it happened, and every week the stupid movie is ran again, and it gets bigger every time. And Japan's Prime Minister may rethink a tax hike could shake markets and unsettle support. Yeah, that's really brilliant. Well, he's an Obamanomics type person. Basically, when your economy sucks, raise taxes, and it will help make it grow. And Harry Reid scolds Republican senators, sit down and shut up. Well, because uh, they've already... Uh, they, they gave up their, okay, uh, here's a good one, Herbie Daddy says, Republicans gave up the right to filibuster, uh, you know, because uh, they said, we're not going to filibuster these Obama appointees, and the next day, the Obama appointees were tossed out by the Supreme Court, but they'd already granted them full terms. Uh, we're not going to let this person over at the United Nations because she's anti-Semitic and stuff. Uh, the next day, the Supreme Court tossed her out on her butt, but it was too late because they'd already endorsed her. 
I mean, uh, it, it's a, they basically, um, they said there's, a much, there's about as much courage among a Republican leader as there is, you know, of a, of a little kid trying to keep away from the candy store. Mm -hmm. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, that's good. Often you have to look to the past to look to the future. No, otherwise you have to wait for it to go to the Yeah.